hello guys welcome to my channel fish farming tv in today's video i'm going to be walking you through different diseases of catfish their causes prevention as well as cost effective treatment i'm going to show you how to effectively identify if there is a disease outbreak as well as the first step of action you need to take but if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell icon and if you are getting value from my video please give this video a like and also leave a comment in the comment section below fish disease affect the survival and the growth rate of fish in commercial fish farming in commercial fish farming system and drug treatments are expensive which make farmers suffer economic losses due to disease outbreak for the for them to avoid such economic losses it is important to take precautions the ability of the farmer to prevent those diseases enhance better productivity in fish farming let's look at the general cause of the fish disease there are three major causes of fish diseases presence of environmental pathogens number one the second one is low resistance of the fish stocks and the third one is a bad water environment we have regular disease prevention and control practices to prevent and control fish disease we should one maintain a good culture and prevent deterioration of water quality and also high nutrient feed in fish feed to boost resistance of the fish your feed must be a high uh, a nutri a nutrition uh, feed now the question is how can we prevent the water environment from pollution there are two things you need to do to prevent water pollution it's very very important do not overfeed your fishes this can cause water pollution when you overfeed your fishes uh, and they will pollute everywhere before you know the water will, will get bad number two regular changing of your water some farmers don't change their fish water and if you don't change your fish water you'll be having problem in your farm you regular changing of fish water it, it normally enhances the growth of fish when you are changing the uh, uh, the water of your fishes you need to be changing water once you start to observe that the water is getting bad as a fish farmer you should be able to know when you are, the water of your fish is getting bad you have to change it so as a farmer you know when to change your fish water the next subject we are looking at is how to boost uh, resistance of the fish under culture. That is to say, to be able to resist disease outbreak, to boost their immunity, you must do this. These are the things that you need to do for you to boost the resistance of the fish under culture. Number one, avoid overstocking. You don't need to overstock your ponds. This makes fishes knocking against each other and this increases cannibalism and your fishes may be dying number two the second point there avoid feeding the fish with a uh, with a trash feed for this trash feed cannot provide balanced nutrition you feed your, your fish with rubbish you don't feed them with balanced nutrition it can cause disease outbreak in your farm use dry pellet feed which is hygienic and low in bacteria and also add vitamins and minerals to the dry pellet feed to boost their fish immunity. Give them, add vitamins, mix it with their feed. Let them eat so that they will have strong immune system. How to observe and identify disease outbreak? How do you observe and identify disease outbreak? Number one, reduce feed intake. This is the first sign of many fish disease. Once you start observing this, just know that there is a problem. When you, when you feed your fish and they will, they will not eat as they used to eat, and you observe them throughout the day, they are not eating well as normally how they used to eat, know that there is a problem. Another, another thing there is abnormal swimming pattern. You will see your fishes lying flat, rubbing against the pond surfaces, or jumping out of the water, or moving in a circular pattern or losing buoyancy or balance they will be losing balance on, on the water these are signs of a disease and as a farmer 
you should be able to identify this sign and the best time to watch or observe is early in the morning or later in the evening during feeding hours when you are feeding your fishes you must have to pay attention to how they behave this will show you if they are okay or if they are sick some farmers don't pay attention to their fish you have to pay attention that is your investment pay attention to them anytime even even when you are not even feeding them you can walk around there and watch and see if there is problem in the pond any problem can arise from any time so as a farmer the constant monitoring of the fish is very very important for your stock so we are now going to discuss the common fish diseases and their treatments i'm taking you to some of the diseases that we normally face and in the fish farming system number one crackhead disease i don't know if you have seen that in your farm before or see it somewhere uh, and I'm, I'm showing you on the screen that is how it looks like crackhead diseases crackhead diseases is one of the devastating disease in commercial fish farming the cause of this uh, uh, crackhead disease is this it's as a result of deficiency of some nutrient in the fish feed such as vitamin c calcium vitamin d and phosphorus in the fish in the fish feed so if you have such uh, issues check the feeding check the feed you are giving them if the feed is okay or if you are the one that formulated the feed check if they are lacking some of these ingredients but if you are buying from some of this manufacturer most of their feed they are good they have a very good balanced diet in them this can be caused another thing that can cause this a uh, 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 crackhead disease is a uh, poor water quality due to overfeeding or accumulated waste matter in the water if you have a uh, if the water is too dirty and you don't change it it can cause crackhead uh, disease once you start uh, experiencing small pits on the head small pit and hole on the head the region is usually above the eyes you will begin to see redness on the uh, lateral line which causes death of the fish when the skull is broken uh, completely they will die so what treatment can you give them if they are having this crackhead disease the first treatment you practice is this waste matters in the water should be eliminated doing this means you are maintaining the water quality and the water quality should be monitored and also the feeding pattern also don't overfeed them feed them normally and the water quality the water quality should be checked if something is wrong with it another point there another treatment there is you have to stop feeding your fishes for a few days after you have a disease outbreak if you have disease outbreak in your pond stop feeding them immediately and check the next thing you have to do to save them what you have to do before you feed them again you will feed them little by little don't feed them as you used to feed them before and this time now is with uh, some medication add vitamin c in the feed for fast recovery mix it with the feed and give them little 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 just give them little to eat morning and evening that is what you do that's it under treatment another treatment to have here is also maintain the optimal level of dissolved oxygen that is you must have to ensure that the level of dissolved oxygen is up to optimal in the water and then also be careful with your water ph and then minimize the ammonia level in the pond you know how to check your water ph you have ph meter and you have all this uh, liquid ph meter use it to check for the ph of your water always to know if it's uh, on the uh, on the accepted range that is good for your fish another another point there if you want to treat them uh, uh, another point there for you to check about your uh, about the uh, about the cause and the causes and treatment of the crackhead disease another point there is this feed your fish with a balanced feed nutrients if you are buying from 
feed, uh, feed manufacturer, buy quality feed. And if you are formulating, use complete fish ingredient to formulate your feed. Don't, f don't create anyhow uh, or, or do anyhow a uh, mixture and produce feed for your fish. They will eat it and they will not do well and they will get sick and some of them will die. So use the approved uh, formula of fish feed making. Now the second point, the second disease on our list here is uh, uh, the second disease we are going to be looking at is jaundice disease in catfish. Catfish always also have jaundice. In case maybe you are a new farmer, you have not experienced such, and one day you find out that your fish are having such symptoms, just know that is it is jaundice. That's why we are making this video. Jaundice disease is a condition in catfish which shows yellow coloration in the abdominal skin of the fish. This occurs as a result of too much or excess by pigment in the blood and the limbs which res results to hemolytic anemia. And the symptom of this disease in catfish, you will start seeing yellow coloration of the skin and the gills and they will start having loss of appetite. They will not feed as they used to feed before. The fish may lose movement due to the damage of the cardiac fin, increase in mortality rate. There will be increase in the mortality rate. They will die anyhow. So what, what are the cause of jaundice disease? What could cause this disease in your pond? What could cause it? First, it occurs due to poor water quality. As you can see, water quality is the number one. And secondary, secondly, is highly uh, stocking density. Another problem there is high stocking density. If you overstock your pond too much, it can cause uh, jaundice. Or if your water is too bad, it can cause uh, jaundice. <coughs> another, another, another treatment. The treatment for jaundice is this: if you are, if your fish are having such issue and uh, you want to treat them, the, well, the first step you need to do is reduce the stocking density of the pond. You have to reduce the stocking density if they are too crowded. Improve water quality. If this water they are in are too bad, try changing this water. Minimize the fish stress during transportation. If you are transporting your fish, you have to reduce the stress. Don't feed them. Or during sorting, don't feed your fish after transportation or sorting. You can start feeding them the next day. Some farmers do that mistake. After sorting the fish, maybe you are a new farmer, you sort the fish and uh, you start feeding them that same day. It's wrong. Or after transportation, you transported them from this farm to another farm. And after putting them in a pond, you start feeding them. It's very bad. Leave them. They will not die. The next day, you can resume uh, uh, feeding of the fish. So another disease now we have here is a, uh, we are going to look at is the dropsy disease in catfish. Catfish do have a lot of diseases, different type of diseases, but I'm going to be discussing the some of the ones that are always common in our fish farming system. This one is dropsy disease in catfish. The disease occurs as a result of kidney failure in fish. It is a bacterial infection. The cause of dropsy disease in catfish, we have stress due to overstocking. This overstocking is a problem. Don't overstock your fish. Every disease that is coming out here is complaining of overstocking and mainly water quality. So these two things, overstocking and water quality and your feed, if you are observing these three things, you don't, will not be having problem in your fish farming. You will hardly get disease outbreak in your farming. Poor water quality. So when you observe some of the cause of the, this disease, it's either feed or water quality. The symptom of this dropsy is in catfish is one fish body balloons on the other skin. On the outer skin, you will see uh, you will see something like balloon as you are seeing on the screen. The fish will start having uh, like a fire bone, like uh, like balloon on the skin. Know that they are sick and they are having dropsy disease. And the behavioral changes. They don't eat as they used to eat. And then lose uh, or lose loss of appetite. You will be you begin to see swelling eyes. 
their eyes will be swelling and they will not be eating like before know that there is a problem so the treatment of dropsy disease is this normally in fish pond and fish farming they normally have a if you don't have it you need to have it if you are a farmer uh, there is a pond that is normally provided for isolation uh, maybe the pond may be small so what you have to do is isolate the affected fishes select all the fishes that are affected isolate them to a separate pond in order to take care of them and treat them also treat the ones that are okay but the first step you have to do is separate them from the ones that are okay when when looking at them then treat the boot ponds separately so how do you treat the fishes that have a dropsy disease create a salt bath by adding not more than two and a half tablespoonful to 10 gallons of water this will help to draw out the excess water from the fish body that makes the skin to swollen. So you get a two, uh, two, two two and a half tablespoon and use a 10 gallon, measure it with water and put the salt there and shake it and pour inside uh, the pond that you kept the, the fish. Up here, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do so and click the notification bell to get notified when we post another video. And if you have any comments about this video or you want us to, uh, you want anything and you want us to do a video or anything, please drop it on the comment box below. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by Fish Farming TV. God bless you for watching. Bye.